I'm telling you, this will be our defining moment as filmmakers. Really? A big screen adaptation of Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. It's perfect! It's been done before. Not the way I envision it. How else can we possibly envision it? I envision it with some sense of modern epicness. Baz Luhrmann did it. Some animation. Romeo and Juliet. Something very classic. Franco Zeffirelli. I'm gonna put this in originality, damn it. What's more original than Shakespeare's text? I'll tell you what's more original than Shakespeare's text. Angsty teenagers. What? Think about it. In our concept of the show, Juliet is going to be spouting all this bullshit to which Romeo gets tired of. I don't think Shakespeare ever envisioned those lines in this play. And Juliet goes off to kill herself, but Romeo stops her. Dude, that'll just ruin the whole concept of the show. Not if we throw in a subplot where Romeo cheats on Juliet with Rosaline. You know that he did love Rosaline. But, 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 but. And to make this appeal to a wider audience, we'll make Tybalt gay. Dude, that's just offensive. Tybalt has a crush on Romeo, but he's cheating on Juliet with Rosaline! I make Juliet adopted as well. That's genius! It's retarded! Ah! You know it is. Rich, that is just politically incorrect. Okay, so what? You're gonna make Varney Romeo and Tanya Juliet? Actually, I wanted to get some bigger name actors on this piece. Like who? Lyle Billington! Him? He's a big time community actor! Exactly! Dude, he's not gonna go for our show. Hey, who doesn't wanna do Shakespeare? Anyone who knows Shakespeare apart from what you're thinking of. Hey, if Michael Bay can cast Mega Fox, that has Romeo. no context in this discussion. Why can't we cast Lyle? Because he's 50 years old. Romeo's a teenager. We'll take some liberties. With Tanya's Juliet, yeah. That's gonna be kinda creepy. Well, hey, not if we cast Norma Wellington. The other community actress? Yep. Well, that's not a bad idea, Tyler. I told you. <laughs> There's only one problem. What? She's dead. What? Why didn't anyone tell me? Dude, she croaked last July. Well, the news should have updated me on this. Dude, she's a community actress. Forget it. Let's just write the script to our version of Romeo and Juliet. He. <laughs> No. Please. No. It'll be awesome. We are not doing a punk rock version. We are never ever getting back together. It'll be insanely amazing. It'll be insanely idiotic. You never know. This shit is gold. Give me one reason why I shouldn't burn this script into non-existence. Because Shakespeare deserves to be shown to the masses. Even though you screwed everything up about the play. Give me three good examples. Okay. One. Romeo has no parents. Two, Juliet slits Romeo's throat. Mm. And three, oh god, three. Friar Lawrence is now known as the artist formerly known as Friar Lawrence. Yep, he's Hip McGiggle. Why Hip McGiggle? Well, he runs the Sunday school class during Mass. <sighs> okay, <laughs> I give up. I, I, I. There's the rub. Wrong play. That's in a play?